This kid literally sweeps better than I do. Look at this. It's insane. You're doing a very no, good job, bud. Get out! Get out! Mm. See? It's a, pump, it's a candy. I'm amazed they allow this, considering now it's like if a cartoon's even a tiny bit violent, they don't allow it. Thank you. Um, but yeah, a candy that punches people, yeah, that's that's a miracle that's actually a thing. Look at how pretty she looks. Yeah, that's Look at her. Oh my god, I'm gonna walk home. Oh, and also I just saw a thing on like the, the stupid annoying gas station TV that you can mute that uh, B doesn't allow partying in their rentals and they have like some technology to crack down on it. Like, yeah, I saw that the other day. Yeah, my question for that is, is like, like if you're on vacation want to throw a party, like, that's going to be a good way to run yourself out of business because nobody else is going to tell you no. Okay, so I find that kind of funny because when I didn't recognize that one at the car show, it's like, oh, I've never seen a Geo Metro convertible. Now that's another one in like a week. Come on. This dog is still being crazy even after we let him out. Thinking that would make it better. That does not sound accurate. I'm intrigued now. Can you hear the trumpet or hear that, Matt? I have that is. Did they ever make a V8 Scout? Either they did or that's swapped. Did you catch that on the vlog? I think so. Oh my god, did you hear it take off? This sounds awesome. Matt, you don't need to do this. This bathroom is very purple. I kind of like it. If you haven't figured it out by my phone and all that, purple is my favorite color. You don't see that much. Cool little truck like that in that good of shape, actually still being used to haul things. It's just a little bit of tin roofing, but that's a kind of surprising. That exhaust looks like it hangs pretty low, but. Still a very nice car. Wonder what's in it. Cool if it's a 327. I love 327s. Okay, so two things. Um, like a, I don't even know, like a one ton something. Oh, there goes that scout again. Um, but a one ton 30s or 40s truck went by that had been like put onto some sort of smaller running gear and kind of lowered and the cab was chopped but the bed was still like totally normal but it was like part way done and it looks like it needed paint and such um okay but then this thing rolled up next to us like I'm assuming it's a diesel but I pictured these things being way louder like it was super super it almost sounded silent it was kind of crazy I'm actually pretty impressed by this though as much as he's been being a little wild. No. Literally, he had not done anything. He looked at it like twice until I said something because there was a truck. I might have caught it in the back row now showing a car. We parked right there by this tent sale thing with a dog hanging out the back window, a labradoodle. Neither of them did anything. They just looked at each other a couple times. I'm just like, that's pretty impressive. But then now, all of a sudden, he's back to not liking me, obviously. I mean, yeah, there's four other people in the store, but, like, he acts like I don't even exist. So apparently at this tent sale thing, they're roasting chilies, and I'm downwind from the smell. It smells fantastic. It's kind of an interesting process. Those are pretty big chilies, too, actually. Oh, yeah, I guess the boxes say fresh green chilies. I guess I don't know how to figure that out. Shows how much how bad kids are with technology. I wasn't giving the dog tons of slack. I had him about right here. So I mean, you know, like two or three feet. And this kid almost clotheslined herself. 
on the leash because she was staring at her phone. I was like, what? Oh, I can't even fathom humans anymore. Especially the young ones. That's why I don't like when Nathan looks at his screen because he pretty much hooked on the dang thing. I'm not totally sure why I didn't register that because once I realized what it was, there's a lot of like seeds and little chunks of chili on the ground underneath it. So, don't know how I didn't figure that out, but and then with the box, it should have all been easy to figure out, but it took me a minute. This is kind of funny because they have it all packed with insulation still in the package and have a book says underground houses, so they're probably building a bunker. They must be preppers. This uh, bugger snuck up, turned around, all of a sudden there's bear. Um, it's kind of funny because like people that are anti-hunting and anti-gun and stuff don't understand how important hunting is. With hunting completely normal as is, they still come into town and hang out in town very frequently. There's probably like 10 or 12 of them that basically live in this town, like in town here. But yeah, uh, that's like that's totally, you know, that'd be so much worse if we just if we didn't hunt them and such well, and i mean it's and look how close it is to the main street too say, two or three steps it'd be getting hit by a car or more like eight what makes oh it's just clearly it's used to people given that it's there's cars driving by <laughs> it doesn't care it's grazing in a yard yeah there's people everywhere it doesn't care let's let the dog loose see if he'll go get it yeah. and i do you see the deer then it looked at the deer. Don't! She's... Look. So very small update on the deer. It crossed the street as we were leaving to go eat on the other side, like, across the main street in town. Like, yeah. So I decided to screw with Megan. This thing's, like, pretty simple. I mean, it's kind of... And then... But then it's got this. Put that up. I was gonna try to record it, but it took her, like, a good 30 seconds of, like, sitting there yanking on it and pushing the button. It was cute. So he already ate some of it, but the dog stole a big block of ice out of the cooler and is eating it. Yeah, it was like half Silly half mutt. Head. It was giant. Well, you gotta make noise. You don't get a dog right? You gotta be Okay, this thing's pretty cool. If, uh, if we get enough followers, I will buy it. If it's still here. When we get to, if we get to the point where we're making money. It's actually a stick four speed really nice shape even the convertible tops in good shape it's quite neat we just randomly stopped here there's a lot kind of a lot of neat junk i mean keyword mostly junk here's another kind of cool little truck thousand bucks yeah, 29 this is what's funny how much wood there is in these old old trucks and stuff most of the steering wheel is missing super old license plate Four digits. Good God. I wish we still had that many people here to be able to do that. I saw this. I'm like, John Deere made a snowmobile. I'm like, no way. There's like nothing green. I'm like, what the heck? Look down here. John Deere. And those John Deere Horicon works is something different because like there's something like that where like one little word's tacked in and it makes it a completely different thing, but that's interesting. All right, I understand it's some sort of antique, but somebody tell me what this is that it's worth 15 grand. I am very fascinated by that. Hi, Megan. Did you find anything in there that you find great? Uh, well, there's some cool stuff. Okay, we decided to wander in. It's like a warthog, a kudu, and an impala. But then look at that non-typical, that is crazy. Various other animals. Cougar. Moose. Elk. It's a pretty big elk. Look at those brown tines. Like that one's fairly typical besides that. Then there's a wolf. Antelope. Bear. Oh, bear rug. Sheep. Another warthog. And there's geez, lots of stuff. Oh, another crazy non-typical. This one's kind of... Oh, and there's a bobcat. There's a mount that's completely coming apart. That's actually super creepy looking. That looks like something from a horror movie. Why does it smell? It's 
It's a place full of old things, Nathan. Of course, it smells weird. Oh, God. I thought we were near the end. And then, uh, I have a new plan. I'm gonna go become a trapper. 795 bucks. Even if you can only sell yours for 300, or oh, this one's 395. It's not for 300 bucks. Makes me want to be a trapper. Plus, it'd get me out in the woods. That'd be kind of nice. So this is, uh, this must be what happened to the one I found out in the wild that suggests the shell. But with somebody else's picture on it, that's kind of weird. And Megan was like, oh, I don't know if I want to know what this is for. It's clearly a shoe shiner's chair. Of course, she goes straight to torture. I guess when you grow up religious. Oh my God, there's no electricity, but. system link cable. Of course, when you're, uh, when you grow up religious, you think everything's horrible, the worst possible thing. I think you had to hook him up with a system link. Crazy. I didn't know we were at a brothel. I didn't know. I mean, they're selling beaver. <laughs> Make it. I thought it was an electric chair too. Yeah. Okay, clearly, a, I mean, like, look at the platform there. The nice little place to rest your feet. These people. Well, and I guess my mom was kind of half range religious, so my point stands. This is uh, one of those moments. I just discovered my one of, an item from my childhood is basically gone. Full one still has grass. You can. Some of you can actually see the marks where the glue was to glue it down. So let's go this way. I want to show that a couple of the holes that were. Like, it's kind of funny because every time I if someone says, like, these down, I always immediately think, yeah, see, like this one, you can even see the texturing that was on the bottom of the ass right there. Check that out. Yeah, I didn't realize it was closed at all, but, but yeah, see that one over there with the uh, four hills? You got a hit from, like, this side here, and then, like, so you got to hit it up that ramp without going back down the other side. If you get at the stop on top, you had an easy two, but um, and then that one right, right over here. That one. Um, like that was another one. Yeah, like you could either like try to hit it hard and jump clear to where the hole is at the end, or like do each bump individually. This is all anaconda theme because that's discovered supposed to be discovery. I don't remember. I guess we could probably go right here and see what this one says is. Who's down? See, like that one something sands but yeah like this was actually pretty cool if you like walked up there to go from this hole over to that one but yeah it grew in really bad but yeah it was kind of cool because there's one yeah like that one stumped down there's one with a something to do with the smelter oh and then see the what little white building that's the thing like you know at the end of a mini golf course you can't just play it in that's the one that like locks your ball in and that's like the little gazebo thing that's at the commons. But it looks like, oh now it's Goosetown Training Center and it has an octagon on there. I wonder if it became a fight fight training place. Cause that used to be like they had like I played racquetball there and like there was like it was like a full gym. Oh yeah, that one that you can't really even see behind the grass there, like where after you walk up this path right here. That one like it was like downhill and curved. Yeah, it was, it was fun. I wonder what that one was. So yeah, this one you can really see. It's a good thing that one has stickers. Because I guarantee one of the owners would come out and try to get in the wrong one. Look at those. <laughs> it's like, I think it's a slightly different shade of blue. But they're both dirty enough you can't super tell. And the wheels are slightly different. Oh, yeah. Even like the chrome around the windows, because some of them don't have that. I guess that one has blacked out Chevy logos, but I mean like, oh God. I don't know how much it's like this everywhere else, because it's like, it's really bad in Montana. So there's a guy in Deer Lodge, it just has like a Mopar graveyard that he's letting sit rot into the ground. But yeah, that little, that, I mean, that's a little tiny fence there. You can see it's pretty much packed with vehicles, but like that Cuda there, and then I believe that front end looks like a Malibu wagon. Not positive though. And then like right over there next to this tan house, there's a uh, O2 Firebird Trans Am Ram Air that last year they made them. There's like, it's kind of funny because even in small towns like this, there's like cool stuff tucked around and then like way up at that end of town, kind of underneath the A there that Nathan's all concerned about picking weeds at in the C he's concerned about weeds at also, but there's a, there was a 70, challenger that sat in a driveway for basically like all of my high school life it's kind of crazy here's the most offensive sticker 
that also leads to the most deaths by gun. That's it. Nathan just said, why is this trapped? Uh, it's clearly out of order. And that's a pretty intense way. It looks like it's something out of a horror movie. I like it. Okay, maybe that emblem is supposed to follow the body line, but that is not straight if it's not supposed to. And now my brain is broken. And as for, uh, that's an AMC Maverick, and apparently that's a AMC. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, my dad clarified that. Now that I look at it, he's got a good point because the mobile window cooter doesn't that doesn't have that much like that. So god, when I try to zoom and point, it doesn't have that much of a slope. It's more like, but yeah. Go ahead. You're tired. It's hard when your knee basically touches the handlebars. I was gonna say he'll be mad. Oh no! What are we gonna it's do? a seventy-pound person versus a hundred-pound person. A hundred? You're funny. What are we gonna take? This? And he's at seventy pounds. I'm exaggerating slightly. He's got to be sixty-five oh, no, though. Hey, hey, last time. Forty. Hey, let's get You're the not training wheels left. Then it won't okay, be flat. Okay, legitimately, last time I weighed myself, I was like one hundred and thirty-five. This is kind of insane. The stars haven't been flat that long, but look at when it's a little bit old. Look at that split. That's crazy. It's kind of crazy, like how short of a time and how little it takes for that to crack like that. Freshly clean foot, flip flop foot. It's kind of insane. How much dirt gets oh and this is even like that's literally just walking around normal like when there's a lot of dirt driveways and stuff yeah it's insane <laughs>